This is crazy. Two great American comedies, both unlike anything you've seen, opening within days of each other. Cue the hallelujah chorus. No, wait, wait. Let me tell you what they are. American Hustle is directed by David O. Russell, who's near the top of my list of favorite directors. In Three Kings, The Fighter, and Silver Linings Playbook, he cultivates a disequilibrium that liberates actors and captures the messy collision of self-interests at the heart of this tragic comedy we call American Life. All right, this is going to be fantastic. We're doing video surveillance. I'm doing Here, he takes on the late 70s sting known as Abscam, where the FBI, with help from a con man, created a fake chic and drew all sorts of sleazy politicians to the honeypot. This is not, repeat, not the real story. We are going to get it right, are we? Here, the New Jersey mayor, played by Jeremy Renner, isn't a greed head, but a good guy who wants to put his people to work. So the con man, played by Christian Bale, becomes a Judas figure. I believe that you should treat people the way that you want to be treated. Didn't Jesus say that? The hairstyles by themselves are worth the ticket price. Bale's is the most hideous comb-over in history. And Bradley Cooper's tight little curls as a desperately insecure FBI guy are almost as ridiculous. I'm running the show, I'm the quarterback, and I'm not gonna settle. The women are both nuts and gorgeous. Amy Adams flashes her blue eyes like stilettos as Bale's co-conspirator. And look out. It's like perfumey, but there's also something rotten. It's Jennifer Lawrence as Bale's uninhibited wife, detonating one madcap line after another. Irving loves him. Oh my God. You can't get enough of that smell. Good morning, Theodore. Good morning. I like her even more, meaning the movie, by Spike Jones, with stupendous Joaquin Phoenix as a lonely man in an unspecified future who falls in love with his OS, <laughs> his operating system. I feel really close to her. Like, when I talk to her, I feel like she's with me. How do you share your life with somebody? She's voiced by Scarlett Johansson and sounds yummy. Last week, my feelings were hurt by something you said before that I... Don't For a while, the movie feels like it's going to be a satire of a world where people turn to social media for companionship, solace, even sex. But that's not what interests Jones. He's not a satirist. He's a romantic. I can feel the fear that you carry around. I wish they could help you let go of it because I don't think you'd feel so alone anymore. In her... The relationship between man and machine is real enough to make us ask what a relationship really is, and if we can ever transcend our narrow shells and bond with another entity. I've never loved anyone the way I love you. Me too. I think any species that can produce a movie as daft and yet lucid as this one has a shot. Hallelujah.